Thursday morning we have the relationship clinic. Tumeweka benchi nje, tumeipanguzwa iko safi. Watu wakae polepole msisukumane so that we can attend to you and today we are going to be looking at uh, the place of vengeance and forgiveness. How do you navigate from one to the other because we keep hearing crazy stories of things that are happening in marriage. We'll be getting into that discussion in the next short while. Right now, I want to take a look at today's weather. Taking a look at today's weather, Nairobi, you are looking at thunderstorms. Expect highs of about 26 and lows of 16. Watuwa Mombasa also carry an umbrella. Slight showers today with highs of 32 degrees. Down in Nakuru, Flamingo County, you're looking out for a cloudy day today. Highs of 27 and lows of 16. And then Kisumu Dala, you will be experiencing some showers today with highs of about 27 degrees. As always, no matter the weather on the outside, carry your own weather on the inside. Great. That's the kind of weather we're going to be having today. Now, question of the day, even as we prepare to get into our discussion in the next hour. Let me ask you, is there anything you would consider unforgivable in a relationship? Is there anything you can consider unforgivable in a relationship? I remember my good friend, Pastor Tony Gobanga, once told me, he asked his wife this question. Honey, is there anything that you would not forgive me of? That's a different story. But send me your thoughts and tell me, is there anything you think is unforgivable in a relationship? SMS is on 20316, WhatsApp 0786-316-316. Right now, Puchambue Gazeti, standard newspaper. This is the big story. Quite sad. How Tuju gambled his billions. It says, investment gone sour. The shocking fall of one of Kenya's richest politicians who mortgaged his vast empire for a 913 million loan that he could not pay. Sometimes you hear some figures, you're thinking, wow, any somebody can take a loan of 913 million. Well, umejaribu ku apply ka loan hapa ifika 150,000 na umenyimu asjuma rangapi. That's how it is. The man at the heart of coronavirus war, WHO chief, is accused of praising China's efforts to fight the disease, yet medics who raised alarm over outbreak were arrested. That's another story carried in the Standard newspaper today. You can take a look at it and find out what they are saying. Also, retiree rare generosity to pregnant women halted. A man has been dishing out money randomly, making his children concerned that he might deplete his saving. The court agreed with his children and put a plug on his philanthropy. Hiya. Says the man's sons told the court that he was too generous, that he splashed his pension on strangers. <laughs> it says the man's children feared that his philanthropy was not tamed. Justice Korea had that the father of four only gifted pregnant women uh, or women with children. He gave the expectant uh, 2,000 bob and the rest 1,000. Doctors said he was delusional. He was a delusional disorder. Oh my goodness me. You need to read that story. Standard newspaper today. Other stories making headlines. There's quite a bit on politics and what's going down. Villagers flee as gods of the lake cross boundaries. Although it's not raining, nearly a thousand families have woken up to find Lake Victoria's water inside their houses. What? The pictures in this story, you need to take a look at this story and find out what that is all about. And then you have the opinions from different people and uh, what's happening from the different counties. Home and away is the pullout. Auctioneers stuck with homes no one can buy. What? There was a time property owners could not save their assets from going under the hammer. Now, only one in ten properties ends up being sold. Oh my goodness. In sports, it's about Wanyama. Big story here. Why Wanyama is leaving UK. 
with happy memories. Those are some of the stories you will find in our local dailies this morning. Grab a copy, keep yourself informed on what's happening both locally and also internationally. Now, in the next short while, we get into our conversation for today on the Relationship Clinic, talking about vengeance, forgiveness. My friend, that's a tough one. We've had so many stories. The question for today is there anything unforgivable in a relationship? Send me your thoughts. 20316 SMS line, WhatsApp number 786 316 316. My guest is already in studio. I will be introducing her to you. It is the relationship clinic, Sikia Clinic. Sikia Clinic, what one aquaga, Engi? But we thank the Lord for you. <laughs> I have uh, shared it from Embu. You say, You make me happy when you say, Benchi ko apo inje na Kumane. Yes, Mrs. Kumane. Today we are asking you the question, is there anything that is unforgivable in our relationship? Is there anything unforgivable in our relationship? In studio with me today, counseling psychologist Susan Gatti, how are you doing? Very well. It is good to have you. Thank you for inviting me. Awesome. I always yes. wonder, because it, it, it's something we read about in the uh, local dailies, it's almost become normal. It doesn't shake us anymore as it used to back in the day. Somebody woke up and they burnt their family to death or they hacked their wife and then they took their own life. What drives a person to that point? I've never understood. Mm. This is somebody you love. This is somebody you committed your life to. Mm. How then do you take them out? And, and again, you can't judge them. Yes, <laughs> yes. But... Uh, I think the effect of betrayal, mm -hmm. especially in a marriage relationship, yeah. goes deeper than we think. Okay. Because every marriage relationship is actually built on trust. Mm -hmm. In fact, it is said to be the closest relationship that one, any human being can have. Can have yeah. And that relationship is held by trust. So when there's no trust, mm -hmm. then it crumbles your very connectedness okay. in any relationship. But not only that, when, when, when in a married relationship a couple experiences betrayal, mm -hmm. it has a deep, it creates an emotional wound that, um, that would make you want to do anything. And that emotional wound has emotions. Mm -hmm. And those mm -hmm. emotions are anger, yeah. which will lead you to what you're saying. Mm. <laughs> Somebody somebody hitting their wife, it's because they have, they have had, uh, they have harbored that, that anger. There's the emotion, even betrays and sometimes can be referred to as, as, an, emotion. as an emotion. Okay. But of course there is uh, anxiety, there is mistrust, there are so many emotions that are, and questioning of self. Yeah. Uh, that, that the person is wondering, why did, why, how could this person do this? Mm -hmm. what, what did I do? So, so it is a combination of so many factors that drives the person to a sense of hopelessness mm -hmm. where they feel there's no need of having this person in my life okay. because I had given all myself to them and this is what they this have done. This is what they have done. Yes. Would you say there, there are, are there some acts of betrayal mm -hmm. that carry more weight and have more emotions attached to them than others? Now, I think it depends on in different in, in individuals. individuals, yes. Uh -huh. For some people, mm. if you can talk to a couple and they tell you, the day my husband or my wife will beat me, yeah. it, uh -huh. it's over. Uh -huh. For some, it is violence because it's also a betrayal. Uh -huh. Others, it is to know that there is an emotional attachment with another woman or with another man out there. Mm -hmm. That is heavy to some people. In fact, on that one, let me ask you a question. Let me throw in another question. <laughs> yes. uh, because I was wondering about this. It seems like, uh, I may be wrong, but from my observation, it seems like when men cheat, they expect their wives to be forgiving. Yes. But very, very rarely do you hear a man say that if my wife cheats, I would be willing to forgive. Many men, when it comes to that one, ah, that one is unforgivable. <laughs> why is it more, more, why does it carry more weight if the woman is the one who cheated than the man? Yes. I've never understood that. It's one. an interesting um, observation yeah. and an interesting reality as well. Because it is true, uh, maybe research needs to be done on that area. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But practically, uh, you will see that men are affected when they come to learn. Yes. My wife was in the arms of another, another man. man. 
and part of it is the imaginary because I think men you. would can imagine. Yes. You imagine the sexual act. Yeah. And is more visual in a man's mind, much more than a lady. That, yes. Two, I think in a man, men have a way, and I'm saying this cautiously, yeah. saying that it also needs research. Mm -hmm. uh, the sexual intimacy between a, you know, between a couple. Yeah. For the man, I think it is an issue of conquering. So mm -hmm. you begin mm -hmm. to feel, how can somebody conquer my territory when I'm alive? Sure. <laughs> so I think that's why make it makes it becomes very hard for men to forgive. Mm -hmm. Yes. For ladies, I would dare say, men, ladies find it very hard when they know that my man, yes, slept with another woman, mm -hmm. but two, that that, lady, that my husband was emotionally attached, attached with another woman because ladies are more connected mm -hmm. relationally than men. Wow. Yes. No, it's interesting. You, 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 you earlier on said it depends on, 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 on different individuals yes. because I've talked to ladies who, mm. I mean, they called it quits the moment they dis discovered my husband has another child they had never spoken of. Not that they're in a relationship with that woman anymore. No, mm. there is a child and you never told me about them. Mm. Ah, 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 we are done. Mm. Yet I've spoken to other women mm. who they discover there's a child mm. and they say, hey, 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 bring that child home. Mm. Bring that child home. He needs to grow up in this home. Yes. And I'm thinking, wow, there's such a difference. Yeah. I don't know what you would say to that. Uh, there are many factors. Mm -hmm. eh? um, one, depending on where somebody is coming from. Mm -hmm. Because if I come from a family where, for example, uh, uh, I saw betrayal. Yes. I will feel it more. And it becomes, uh, it raises my antennas to see and to be hurt deeper if it was to be repeated now in my own life. Okay. If I okay. saw, for example, my father betraying my mother yeah. in kind of similar yeah. situation. Yes. So I'm more prone. I have an emotional wound. You know, Kidonda, mm -hmm. which even if it has healed, the sky is the there. The sky is there. <laughs> so when it is repeated now in my family, then it hurts me deeper. So it's like I can't trust anyone. I never trusted my dad, neither can I trust this man. Wow. And so that person will, might experience it deeper than a person maybe who might be thinking, okay, I have, I, this is really, really bad. I've never gone it through, but maybe I should give it a try. try. Would you say sometimes then, you, because of like the situation you've described, mm. uh, your dad betrayed your mom, yes. and you carry that heart mm -hmm. yeah, towards your dad. You yes. can't express it to your dad, this is your dad. Yes. And you carry it without knowing, and you take it into your marriage relationship, yes. so that your husband may not necessarily be betraying you, yes. But because you never got over this, you now project this to your husband or to your wife. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Rightfully said that it is good to heal mm -hmm. emotional um, um, wounds. wounds yeah. And especially from the family of origin. Okay. Where I work at Amani Counseling okay. Center, um, majority of the issues that we see uh, have to do with relationships, relational issues, yeah. and especially from our background, where we are coming from. Okay, okay. Because what happens is that issues happen at home, mm. and then for some reason, we take note, we get so hurt, and then we move on. We are able to go to school, go to school, mm. finish school, get a very good job, yes. and after the good job, we settle down, and then we are like, okay, then your memory for some reason begin to creep in to tell you, hey, men are not to be trusted. Mm. Hey, ladies are not to be trusted. Why? Because my father, my mother did and this and this to my father. Yeah. Because you see, when a child comes into a family, the ideal relationship that actually they are watching is the relationship between father and mother. Wow. And so when it doesn't work, um, it does affect them. Mm -hmm. It affects them deeply. Mm -hmm. And so it handicaps them to know how to relate to, to their spouses. Yes. Um, how do you get to know how a man should uh, take care of his wife? You see that, you're supposed to see that at home. You're supposed to see that at home. Yes. How do I know what a wife should do? Find that, okay, fine. I can learn that from, uh, 
from from different situations, circumstances mm -hmm. that I go through. Mm -hmm. But ideally, I find myself always going back to see what did my mother, what did I see, and especially social learning. Yeah. What did I see my mother do? Yes. If I saw my mother putting poison on my father and he survived, then it becomes almost like my default setting. Wow. If I saw my mother maybe serving, if I saw my mother uh, speaking respectfully, yes. it becomes my default setting. But now in marriage, if that is not the issue, then it, I become, uh, I, I, I begin to relate with my husband on the basis of what I saw, mm -hmm. what I heard, mm -hmm. what I felt. Yes. Wow. Does yes. violence also, also, also yes. work in a similar way? It, it is in the same way. But it can affect somebody mm -hmm. uh, depending on the personality of the individual. Yes. Yes. It can affect the person differently. Some people even can say, I'll never get married. If that is what... Marriage is all about. Yes. Some people will say, uh, if I ever see a raised voice, anything that reminds me mm -hmm. of violence, then I will never, I will never stay in that marriage. Mm -hmm. Other people will be like, I'll go in, but I won't go in completely. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll go in, but I'll be very careful what I say, what I see, what I do, what I offer, yeah. just in case. It's like getting married and you stay near the door. Yes, just in case just you get in case. Yeah, yeah. You never unpack. You never unpack. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Your bag is always packed just yes. in case anything happens. Yes. Wow. Do you think many of us, because we are so in love, we mm. come to the altar, we say I do, yes. we never think of how to handle disagreements. I, I, I can't imagine us sitting down on a date and talking about, so, even you took Kosana, you took easy. Do you think it's, it's important for us to talk about and to agree on if we come to the, a disagreement, this is how we fight fair. Now, that one is, I must say, yeah. it must be handled during premarital counseling. During premarital. And that's why every premarital counseling must be comprehensive. Uh -huh. It must be much more than just talking to your pastor about Ooh, uh, okay. this, is, this is what you should do, yeah. how many children will you have. It should be comprehensive. And several churches do that. But even as at Amani, we do, do, do primarital pre counseling. That's good. That's yes. Good. And so um, it is during the primarital counseling mm. that a person is, or a couple is helped to know um, things to do with conflict resolution mm -hmm. by looking at how are conflicts resolved at home. Okay. Uh -huh. How did I see my parents? Uh, resolve conflicts. Therefore, in my, in, during premarital counseling, I'm helped to see, was mm. that helpful? Was it not helpful? If it was not helpful, what are, what are, what are some skills that I learn, I can yeah. learn yeah. during premarital that can help me to resolve conflict better? Okay. Communication the same, sex the same. Mm -hmm. um, all topics of premarital counseling yeah. should be handled comprehensively. And that is where yours, you know, what you're asking okay. will be handled. Okay. So I would request every couple preparing to get married, yeah. take premarital counseling seriously. Okay. Yes. Uh, a question before we, 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 we listen to some music. Yes. Is it possible to identify during this court, courting period and mm -hmm. during this premarital counseling, mm -hmm. how do you identify somebody who has anger issues? Mm -hmm. because I've seen in marriage, even some of the cases we are talking about, yes. you know, you wake up and you pour acid on your husband, mm -hmm. and then you're remorseful later. Yes. You broke your wife's leg, and then you're repentant later, mm -hmm. simply because you, you're the kind of person, when you get angry, you can't manage yourself. Is it possible to spot that before marriage? There's something I say, mm -hmm. when you're dating, especially for the young people who are dating, yeah. don't be in a hurry to go for a commitment in marriage. Okay. I need to watch the person I intend to marry in different scenes. See you two quite dating scenes. See you just uh, dress uh, up and uh, then you the go best. to the restaurant. Yes. <laughs> but I need to watch the person in social setting. Uh -huh. Because it's very hard for somebody to pretend for a year or two in, in social, social setting. Settings, yes. But they can pretend in a coffee date, yes. because I can dress up physically, mm. I can dress up uh, emotionally, yes. I can dress up fully for that, for and hours. then I go home. Mm. I go home. Mm. But if in, um, if if uh, I'm losing my thought, if you're in a social setting, even a social setting, yeah. then it is possible to see the person how the person reacts mm -hmm. to other people as well. Yes, when somebody says something, how did the person react? Mm. If they're insulted, 
when they are driving and they are overtaken by a matatu, how do they react? Yes. You begin to take note. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. And then you can make up your mind. <laughs> yes. Do you have any questions for us? Then we would say, go to back at five minutes before I end the show. And then you bombard me with 53 questions. Now, if you have questions, please send them in now. 20316 is the SMS line. WhatsApp number is 0786-316-316. Looking at the whole aspect of vengeance versus forgiveness and how do you reconcile the two. Maybe you have an experience to share. Maybe you've made some mistakes before and you learned from them. You can share that with us. We could also learn from your mistakes. It is the Relationship Clinic this morning, hanging out with counseling psychologist from Amani Counseling Center, Susan Gatia, is in studio with us. Vengeance versus forgiveness is what we are looking at. If you have questions for us, 20316 is the SMS line, WhatsApp number 0786316316. I can see several questions have already come through. We'll be looking at them shortly. But before that, we had an opportunity to go into the streets. I love going to the streets. The opinions are so real sometimes and so different. Uh, it makes you realize we think differently. And we were asking the question, is there anything that is unforgivable in our relationship? Listen to what different people had to say. Amimi, kama kama nile ni mezidi sana, amita mfogevu tu. Kunayo, kama hiyo, kama mpago ya kado, nasa naona, akiele na mpago ya kado na nijue ya hiyo kusame hai lakua ni gumu. Hmm. Hiyo higine siyo ni kwa sababu higine tunasiki sana tu. Lakini higine laza ni gani sasa. Na tunapata yote. Hakuna hiyo tu. Hiyo diyo baya kwa gu. Ya. Kitu wa mene nizafanya ni kose kumsamea. Ni kama tujue mimi ni najua niko na yeye na niyeke peke yake. Then na ini mpati ya kiuwa na mtu mungina wa mpango wa kando inje. Hiyo ni kitu wa mene nizafanya ni siwai msamehe kabisa. Kwa sababu ni konesha hayuko mwaminifu. Kwa hivyo hata wakati tutaundwa ndoa na yeye hata kwa mwaminifu bado. Kuna kitu wanaeza fanya. Mfano nilikuwa na binti mmoja sita tusema jina lake. Uyo edem, siku mmoja haka niyomba simu ni kampatia simi hangu watumie. Haka eka laini yake. Venye lieka laini yake nili, bade kuchukua yu simu, kurejesha wa yu simu, junikuwa nmampia tu atumie juu yake likuwe mezima moto. Nikapata message anachati na jama mwingine. Umashika, anachati na jama mwingine, mambo ya mapenzi na nini na nini. Na anatumie simu ya nani? Simu yangu, so yukitu yika niuma sana Mii kile nilifanya cha nyongia ukweli Nilimpigia simu nika muita kwa angu Nika funga mulango Nika mungisa kwa nyuma nika mudanganya Nika mutandika vita vizuri kabisa Na nika mambia cha mwoki ya hende Mbaka wa leo, sijaya ya taongia na yeteno Kwa hivyo mikuna kitu bedhe mtu wa mpenza niza kufanyia Kuna kitu mtu wa mfano ukwe na msichana mpenzi Upate melala na kazi ni yako Ama mefanya mambo na watu wa karibu na wewe Umona ya ni kitu ya kumiza mtu So unaona Kuna kitu mtu nizafanya uweze msamehe ya. Lazima ni msamehe kwa sababu hata bibili ya meandika ikasema ya kwamba usamehe mtu mara saba mara sabini. So sioni venye neza kosa kumsamehe na mimi ni mkristo hakuna venye neza kosa kumsamehe. Lazima ni msamehe so that hata ni kiubiria watu ama ni kifundisha watu ni kuwa ni kwa safe. Unawana ni kuwa ni mejifungu, ni mejifungu, ya ni sina kinyonga na mtu ya yote. Kwa sababu hata uwezi toa sadaka ukiwa kinyonga na mtu ya yote. Bibili ya nasema ya kwamba. Uru, u, uende, urudia uyo nduku yako msa, umsamea. Kwanza niposo ukuja ukatolea mwenyezi mungu sadaka niposo ikaweza kukubalika. Mm, ok, kulingana na mimi, eh, ile kukua nimekuwa kiu kristo. Ne, sidhani kuna jambo ambalo linaweza fanya nisi msamehe. Manake hata ile tendo ambalo tumeambiwa kwa biblia linaweza fanya bibi na buwana wa achane. Kuachana, munaeza achana, lakini kusamehe, unaeza msame, msame, juu, mimi kuna kitu moja najua, kama umenikosea, nikose kukusamehea, na wewe kuje forista nitu umeomba msamaha, mimi ndiyo huwa nabakia na hiyo uchungu moyoni mwangu, ndiyo nabakia na ugumu moyoni mwangu, lakini nikikusamehe na nisahau, inaisha tu hata mina kuwa na amani ya moyo, kwa hivyo mina amini kus makosa huwa inatokea dosari huwa zinakosea za hapa na pale kwa maisha ya mwanadamu lakini mwishowe kama mtu amekuomba msamaha ama mimi nimeomba msamaha unisamehe ama nikusamehe inakuwa sawa moyoni mwa mtu amani inakuwa moyoni mwa mtu kwa hivyo sioni kama kuna jambo mimi siwezi samehea mtu naweza samehea mtu interesting opinions 
from different individuals in the streets of Nairobi. I don't know, I, 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 want, to, I want to hear what you have to say about the, 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 the guy who was so real, the guy who said, Mr. Wadanganya, yeah, the guy who called the girlfriend to his house, a Kamunyorosha. <laughs> it sounds funny, but it's a serious issue. <coughs> I think he dealt with his issue uh, the best way he could. With the, not, with, right. yes, <laughs> with, the, with what he knows. Mm -hmm. um, and that tells you what betrayal does. Uh -huh. We are not justifying his means. Yes. But betrayal, yes. because in marriage or love relationships, as I said earlier on, mm. people are, uh, they are touched together by trust. You see, I can go out for food, for coffee with other people. Yeah. But the exclusiveness that comes in a love relationship yes. should remain. So when it doesn't, then it destroy, it destroys the relationship. Mm -hmm. um, of course, it's not good to beat another yeah. person. Yeah. In fact, remove the beating. You should have just released her mm -hmm. and let her go back because uh, um, <clears throat> by beating her, he didn't achieve more than just letting her go. <laughs> he unleashed his anger on her, yeah. and she left. Um, maybe he felt I did something. I did something. I did something to to to, to numb the pain a bit. <laughs> to oh, numb the pain goodness. a bit. But of course, it's not violence. Is it's at never, all. It's never it is a, never a solution. Okay. Yeah. A couple of questions coming through. This one is from uh, Eunice. Eunice says, "I have been betrayed in a dating relationship several times. I'm just scared to get into marriage or even dating. I say I have forgiven." But when I remember the heart, I'm scared to even date again. How do I move on from this situation? Yeah. Um, Eunice uh, is going through what actually many people go through. Mm -hmm. um, because when you see uh, somebody going through, once, going through a betrayal once yeah. is enough. Ooh. But to go through it several times, so, yeah. it, definitely you can understand where she's coming from. Mm -hmm. But as you say, um, you don't have to remain a victim. Mm -hmm. I don't have to remain a victim if somebody has betrayed me. Yes. I need to have the energy to first acknowledge because betrayal, betrayal, what it does, it, as I said, it, it breaks trust, but two, mm -hmm. it creates doubts. Uh -huh. Three, it makes you even blame yourself. Ooh. How, could in the, how could I allow myself yeah. to be cheated? Like this. Yes. Mm. In some instances, it even goes into trauma. Oh, really? Somebody becomes totally traumatized. And I don't know what that's where Eunice is. But one can be helped. And, mm -hmm. and uh, now from my, <clears throat> from my point of view, mm. if somebody so went for counseling, like Eunice, yeah. she should seek help. She should seek help to be helped to see. Because inside her dealing strategies, mm -hmm. there are also lies, lies of uh, I'm, I'm, being, I'm being cheated, being treated like this because I'm not beautiful. Or he did this because I am yeah. this. Uh -huh. Some of those things are lies, <clears throat> excuse me, and they are handled very well in a counseling context. Okay. Of course, that's not the only one, mm. but I know from where I come from, yeah. it is one of the best. But of course, it is good to talk about it with, with, with other people, with somebody else. With yeah. somebody else. Mm. But at its best, it's good to process it because it's a process. Okay. Yes. You know, in her comments, she said, uh, she has forgiven, mm. but when she remembers <clears throat> the heart, she's scared to even date again. I, I'm just wondering, do we understand what forgiveness is, mm. or do we simply say we have forgiven? Mm. You know, it's like one of the ladies was commenting, the, you know, the Bible says we should forgive, so I forgive. But do we understand, mm. what does it really mean to forgive? Let me say, uh -huh. how do I know that I've not forgiven? Uh -huh. It is when... I remember what the person did, I'm hurt. Uh -huh. There's no forgiveness. Okay. But if I remember what the person did and I have no feelings of anger, mm -hmm. it means most likely I released them from the, from the heart. From because the heart. it's like a debt. Yeah. Uh, we may use yeah. it as punishment to punish the other person. Yeah. But... When, and that's why some people say it should be a process of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Today, I can decide I'm going to forgive him. I'm going to forgive her. Then tomorrow, I feel not yet. Mm -hmm. Some people say, forgive again. 
make it a, a progressive mm. but it needs also uh, to be fed with you need to forgive with knowledge in this sense that's why I was saying for somebody like our our, um, Eunice, our, yeah, our, our friend Eunice I feel I've forgiven but I've not but I still feel bad, still feel bad. Mm. because of the combination of the other lies I was talking about, okay. the other unresolved issues. Mm -hmm. Then it becomes hard for you to be able to be released. Mm -hmm. And that's why counseling here, I'm saying, it's it really important. helps you to, to be able to walk to through the process. all these things. Yes, and then let the person go. Wow. Yes. I, I'm finding it hard to forgive my fiancé who chased me out of the house at night because I came home late. He is justifying the action. <laughs> what would you, what would you say to this one? Um, you know, as a couple, yeah. now, now that they're living together. Yes. She came home late. She came, who, mm. came, who, who came home late? She. She. Mm, because okay. he say, she says he mm. is justifying the action. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Meaning she came home late. Kama unakuja nyumbani imetelea na hata tujawana. <laughs> what are your thoughts about this? I think it's good for those two mm. to, to also seek help, to be helped. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. First sit down, let them sit down and talk, the two mm. of them. Mm. And uh, you know, if couples are able to sit down and communicate mm. deeply from their heart, mm. it's actually possible to recover yeah. from the situation and move on. Yeah. Because uh, if I realize that the other person is remorseful, yes. and I, then it becomes easier, mm -hmm. easier for me to forgive mm -hmm. and talk about things together and clarify. Yes. Then you can be able to trust again. Um, if, if you're not able to sit down together, mm -hmm. seek a third party who is going to mediate between the two of you mm -hmm. and see, be able to be helped to see. Because in every relationship conflict, yes. by the way, it's not one person who has contributed. It is a combination of two. One spouse has done this, the other mm -hmm. person has done more. Mm -hmm. So everybody owns up and, uh, and they forgive each other and move yes, on. Yes, yes. yes. Wow. Uh, let me see. A couple of comments about the, about the, about the guy who said he, he whatever, he, Ali mm -hmm. you know, and a couple of people are concerned that we laughed about it. Mm -hmm. It sounds funny. Let's, let's, let, let, let's get this message across so that people don't mean misunderstand mm. uh, what we are saying. Mm. We are not condoning the action. Yeah. And, and like we said, violence is never an answer. Mm. You know, it came out funnily, but we are not laughing at the situation mm. uh, to say that it is okay. No, 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 no. Mm. It is never okay. And we don't stand for that. And I know even for you guys at the Money Counseling Center, uh, don't stand for something like that. Yeah. yeah. So if our viewers misunderstood us on that one, uh, that's not what we are saying. Mm -hmm. What we are saying is that you know what? There's a better way to deal mm -hmm. uh, with situations like those. Yes. Yeah. In fact, one of the things that I think made us laugh is the way the guy put it. It's the way it came out. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the way he gave the story mm -hmm. uh, because the same story can be said in a in a different way. Yeah. But he's he seemed a victor a victor. Yeah, the, he, way he he, the way he it, said it. The way he said yeah. it, but we're not justifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. What, what, what are some of the things you, you guys have to deal with in, in, in situations like this? What are some of the crazy things people do to one another, and how do you help them overcome? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me say that uh, um, because Amani is a professional, mm -hmm. it's a professional center. Yes. We do. We offer uh, professional counseling. Mm -hmm. Um, because of the bounds of confidentiality, you know, certain things may not come out in public. Yes. But uh, as, I, as I said earlier on, relationships that are hard, they bring up, uh, any, human beings can do anything. Mm. Human beings can do anything when they feel betrayed. And so you, you will find um, at least the bottom line, without going into specific issues, yes. uh, instances, the bottom line is that uh, when somebody is hurt, they can do anything. Yeah. They can threaten to kill. They can, um, they can walk away. Mm -hmm. They can abandon children. They, there's nothing somebody who is feeling betrayed they can do. And that's why it is good to address, mm -hmm. to address the issues. Yes. yes. With a third party, but even better, let them go for counseling. Wow. Yes. I don't know why a lot of us are afraid of counseling. Good question. Mm. 
I think in Kenya or maybe in Africa, it is not one of those uh, that is in line with our culture. Yes. But again, it has been misinterpreted because people think counseling is for people of Madare. Mm -hmm. That you are seeing a counselor. Yeah. Something, Something must be, be terrible, very, wrong. very, very. So it's not accepted that way. Okay. And that's why we are nowadays, we, are, we want to do a lot of work on demystifying mm -hmm. what counseling is. Because basically, um, you just come in to talk to, 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 to be helped to process your issue mm. in, confidence, in confidence. To process your issue, to get to know yourself, yeah. to get to know what happened, and come up with ways of going moving forward. Mm -hmm. It is one of the ways actually to help us to, uh, to gain uh, control of ourselves. It's mm -hmm. one of the ways that helps us to be healed. Yeah. It's one of the ways to, to actually be helped to move forward and mm -hmm. to grow, mm -hmm. personal development. Okay. So uh, counseling is not, it's for, it's, for men, it's for people who are mentally healthy. Because if somebody is sick mentally, mm -hmm. you know, the schizophrenia, yeah. they are not for counseling. Uh -huh. That's those ones we send to, to a psychiatrist. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it is for you and me. It, okay, so yes. basically, bottom line, parting shot as we finish, because my producer is whispering yes. uh, in my ear. Yes. Would you advise anybody who's at this place mm. where they have been betrayed? Yes. Would you advise them? To, is cancelling the way to go? How do they deal with that situation? I need to say two things. Yes. And one of them is, eh, I need to say that many people actually hurt each other yes. in marriage. Oh, yeah. But it is not everyone in, in, a, in, a, in that context, mm -hmm. it is not everyone who walks away. Mm -hmm. People recover. In yeah. fact, majority of couples, mm -hmm. they are able to work through their issues, recover, and they actually become agents of change wow. in other people's lives. So um, you don't have to get stuck there for mm -hmm. ten, carrying, carrying a heart for 10 years, 15 years. Yes. You can recover. You can be helped through counseling. Okay. You can be helped through... Um, talking to a third party, to a therapist, mm -hmm. to help you to be able to work through as a couple, even if your spouse doesn't want to come. You can you come can. alone. Uh -huh. You can come alone yes. and can be helped to rise above and move on with life. Yes. Yes. Wow. So counseling is, is one of the major, major ways okay. to deal with, some, with betrayal. Our time is up. Somebody asked, where is Amani Counseling Center? Uh, Amani Counseling Center, we, our main office is in uh, Bagatiway. Mm -hmm. We have a town office okay. in Mwalimu Sako. We have an office in, in, in Kisumu. Mm -hmm. We have an office in Nyeri. We have an office in Siaya. All over. <laughs> and Mombasa, uh, depending great. on where our, uh, yes, great. Yes. Uh, our listener has said, thank you very much for clarifying. Yes. Asante Sana for yes. responding. I'm out of time for our fellowship for today and our discussion for this morning. Thank you so much for your SMSs. I hope the information we have given you has been beneficial to you. Man, if you're at that place where you're betrayed, when I get angry, I, I take a walk. I just get out of the scene, man. I don't want to be in that scene because, like she said, when you feel angry and betrayed, you can do a lot of crazy things that you regret later. And so if you ever find yourself in that place where you feel betrayed in your relationship, seek help. Seek help. Don't take matters into your own hands. You will end up doing something you will regret later. Some of the stories we hear, you know, people hacking each other to death. Uh, I mean, and then you think about it later, you, what was I thinking, what was I doing? So let's get the help. Help is available. Tomorrow is Lifestyle Friday. I'll be having an interesting conversation for you. Make sure you don't miss out on it. I'm out of time for today.